Welcome, today, the eastern Ukrainian region of Donetsk another annex by Russia has been at the center of recent battles. After Russia withdrew its forces from the southern city of Kherson, it moved soldiers to the Donbass region. Ukraine's President Zelensky has noted that the situation remains tense and very difficult along various front lines, even though no devastating attacks were reported on Sunday. The General Staff of Ukraine's armed forces claimed on Monday that Ukrainian forces had repelled Russian attacks in several areas, including Bakhmut and Avdyuka. Ukraine's military also said that its forces had destroyed six units of Russian military equipment and wounded around 30 soldiers near Innerhodar. The battlefield claims could not immediately be verified. Analysts have predicted that the upcoming winter could have an increasing impact on the direction of the war. It is unclear if either side is actively planning or preparing to resume major offensive or counteroffensive operations at that time, but the meteorological factors that have been hindering such operations will begin lifting, the Institute for the Study of War said over the weekend. Despite leaving Kherson City, Russian forces have dug in on the east bank of the river Dnipro and are now shelling the city from across the river. At least 32 people in the Kherson region have been killed by Russian attacks since the withdrawal on November 11. The Russian-backed administration in Novokakovka, a town near Kherson, also reported that one civilian was killed and another wounded in Ukrainian shelling on Sunday night. The U.S. is reportedly considering a Boeing proposal to supply Ukraine with cheap, precision bombs fitted onto abundantly available rockets. The weapons known as ground-launched small-diameter bombs GLSEV, would allow Kiev to strike far behind Russian military lines. The artillery could be delivered to Ukraine as early as spring 2023, according to the Reuters news agency. The U.S. and its Western allies are struggling to meet Ukraine's demand for military equipment as the war drags on beyond nine months. Russia's invasion of Ukraine drove up demand for American-made weapons and ammunition, now including g eb The U.S. and the U.K. committed the most direct military aid to Ukraine until early October, according to a Kiel Institute for the World Economy Tracker. Meanwhile, Eastern and Central Europe's arms industries are reportedly producing guns, ammunition, and other military supplies at a pace not seen since the Cold War. Former Warsaw Pact countries see helping Ukraine as a matter of regional security. Fewer than 3 million tons of grain will leave Ukraine in November, Infrastructure Minister Oleksandr Kubrikov said late on Sunday. A Turkish and UN brokered deal aimed at